Hi, my name is Kelly from California Foundation for Agriculture in the Classroom, and today I'm going to be demonstrating an activity called Comparing Apples to Earth, adapted by the Soil Conservation Service. The purpose of this activity is to demonstrate how much of the Earth's surface is required for growing food for an entire world. You'll just need a couple of key ingredients to make this activity possible. You'll need an apple for each student, preferably grown in California, as well as an appropriate cutting utensil and probably napkins and paper plates because this can get messy and sticky. For students of younger ages, it's probably best to do this as a demonstration rather than have the students cut the apple themselves. It's still very effective. You'll start out by slicing the apple into fourths. Then you'll set aside three of the four pieces as this represents the water that's on the Earth's surface that cannot be used for growing crops. From this quarter apple, cut the slice in half. This is going to represent the uninhabited desert, swamps, and arctic areas that can't be used for food production. Then divide this remaining piece into fourths. We'll set aside three of the fourths for land that's too rocky, wet, or cold for crop production. And all we have left is this remaining piece of the apple for all you math whizzes out there, you'll know that this is only 1 32nd of the original apple. Not a whole lot. And from here, we peel this piece, leaving only the skin. This small piece of skin represents the land that we have left in the entire world to grow crops for all of us on the planet. Not very much. In conclusion, it's really important to remind students and to remind ourselves on a daily basis that we really have to protect and take care of the agriculture land that's left for us. You can see it's not very much at all in comparison. So treat the land well, and it'll treat you well by producing crops for us to eat. For more information about this activity and other agriculture education activities or extensions on this project, you can visit our website at www.learnaboutag.org.